Hello and welcome to First Baptist Church in Clay Center, Kansas. I'm Pastor Matthew Coleman, and this is our Ministry Minute for Monday, July 13th. Today we begin a series of minutes that will take us over the next two weeks through the nine fruit of the Spirit. And today, as we think about that passage from Paul's letter to the church at Galatia, Galatians 5, verses 22 and 23. Uh, we aren't going to get very far into it, uh, but we are reminded that it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Those nine things are the fruit of the Spirit. And today, I wanna to just focus on that word fruit for just a minute and allow us to see three things very quickly. And in order to help us remember them, we're gonna think of three things that start with the letter P. The first is product or produce, all right? And when we think about that, it's a, it's a result of growth, something that is produced. When we think of produce in the store, we think of fruits and vegetables, you know, things like carrots and potatoes and tomatoes and apples, that kind of stuff. And the fruit of the Spirit is a result of growth by the Spirit in our life. So as we get started thinking about this, we need to realize that these nine characteristics are all a result of growth in our lives. The second P is profit or gain. And you know, sometimes we think of profit and uh, we almost think of it as a negative thing, as uh, kind of like it's a result of, of swindling or taking advantage of someone in order to get profit. But that's really not the case. A profit is simply a gain, something that we gain. And again, we see this. We've got the, the produce or product aspect of it, that it's a growth uh, of the Holy Spirit in us. And we see that too, that it's a gain. It's a, it's a profit as a result of our result. Uh, of our result of our relationship with the Holy Spirit. And the last thing, the last P, is that we need to understand that it is a partnership. It is a partnership. One of the interesting things about these fruit of the Spirit is that they are not forced upon us. Uh, the development of them is not forced upon us. It is a result of our working and allowing the Holy Spirit to work in our lives. And so just at the very beginning of our look into the fruit of the Spirit, let us be mindful of the truth that the fruit of the Spirit is a product, it is a profit, and that's a result of being in partnership with the Holy Spirit. And so I invite you today to take some time and pray to God, pray to the Holy Spirit that he would work in your life to bring about and to develop and to strengthen these nine fruit of the Spirit uh, that are designed and expected to be seen in your life. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. I look forward to seeing you soon here at First Baptist Church, and I pray that God will bless you and that he'll bless your family as well.